Hello, everyone. Good day. We have a job at this HP laptop. This HP laptop, according to the owner, the owner said this laptop, when you plug in charger, it does it show indicator light. It tried to turn it on through the power button, but it could not turn on. So it now brought it for repair. So and this laptop is 6730B. HP 6730B. So what are we going to do? Can we fix this laptop? I don't know. So let's check this my charger. So let's put in the charger. And there is no indicator light shows that the charger was plugged in into the laptop. And I try to power it on. You can see no indicator light. Power it on again. Power it on again. Nothing to show. So let's see whether this charger there is um, voltage inside the charger. So, and this is my voice. Twenty volts. Turn it. Turn the meter on. So let's check. Let's see whether this charger is working, and whether this charger there is voltage. So you can see nineteen point four. So let's plug it again. Let's turn it on. Power button. Nothing to show for it. <clears throat> that means this laptop power is not entering into this laptop. So what can we do? Let's check together. Always remember to remove your battery whenever you uh, try to open a laptop. That should be the first thing that's supposed to come into your mind. And uh, that is the first thing you ought to do. So let's lose this laptop. Let's see. Now, if I may ask you, what do you think might be the problem of this laptop? What might be the problem of this laptop? I don't know. I guess you two, you don't know. So let's see. Let's see the problem of this laptop. Always remember to subscribe to my shiny. Like my video. Drop your comments. I will be so glad to reply to you. And also share my video. Share my video. I just removed the hard drive now. Always remember when losing a laptop, you have to apply carefulness to it because you know laptop is fragile. So you just have to follow the process. The way I'm losing it, if you're a beginner, you just have to follow the process. Before losing a laptop, first of all, study how you lose it. Yeah, because like I said in my one of my previous video, um, laptop they have different ways in opening it. Yeah, as you can see what I'm doing. Try to get out the keyboard from the laptop. So you just have to study the laptop to understand how you can be able to lose it. Take off the keyboard. So those are the things that you must understand, that you must learn. Taking off the keyboard from the motherboard. Just have to be careful, that's all.
when doing you know, this kind of job you have to apply carefulness to it take it out In my next video, I'm going to uh, teach about schematic because I understand that most of us would also understand schematic. Uh, schematic of a laptop is a diagram. It's a diagram that which the producer are using um, producing the laptop, each motherboard for better understanding on how the circuit is being built. So when you follow schematic, it will make you to understand the motherboard when you want to work on the motherboard. But though schematic is very, very necessary, but most time, most time I don't use schematic. So let's put in the charger. The board is out. Bring my meter. So let's check some voltage to know what is wrong. Let's check some voltage where that voltage is getting into the motherboard. First of all, let me check the charger as you can see. 19.4 volts. That means the charger is working perfectly. Plug in the charger. As you can see, all this leg I'm showing you now, this is a leg from the charging port. So ground. Let's see where the power is getting into the charger port. You can see zero zero. As you can see, nineteen point five volts. This is like um, power diode effects leg which the the voltage goes to is the power diode and the power diode have the 19 volts now you check the MOSFET the MOSFET this, this first side it has 19 volts so let's see okay checking the other side zero zero not volts zero 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 zero. So let me zoom it and see. Now this other side, zero zero. Zero zero. Other leg zero zero. That means to say uh, we have to check it again. But if really that means to say this MOSFET is bad. This MOSFET is bad. And this other side is really 90 volts because the uh, voltage flow from the uh, this power that you would to to the MOSFET, and this other side there is voltage in it, and this other side there is no voltage in it. This MOSFET is a bad one. This MOSFET is dead. Ground. Let me check one more time. Zero zero nineteen point four nineteen point four the other leg nineteen point four nineteen point zero the other one at the other side is reading zero zero. So voltage is not passing through from this side to the other side. I'm very, very convinced this MOSFET is dead. All we have to do is to modify the MOSFETs. 
or we have to put in a new Moffet. So let's do some soldering. Let me modify it. I just want to do new thing today. I suppose to take off this MOSFET. Let me teach you this order today. Taking this, I just want to you know pass the current the voltage through this wire to the other side to feed in the motor pod. I, I just say let me do something new today or oh, I suppose to um, use rework station to blow off this MOSFET and put in other MOSFET just want to do something new so that you guys will understand it can still work that way yeah okay let's see Ow. My sorry, Nyon, it's not that hot, but it's okay. So let's plug in the charger. Let's take our reading. Let's see whether it works. I remember, our voltage doesn't go to the other side before now. So let's see. 19.4 let's check the other side now 19.4 now just now you can see there's voltage supplying all over the board now all over the motherboard that means to say there's voltage inside the board let me sell it tape it Sell it a bit so that it cannot pull out from the MOSFET easily. Now you can see I just modified this MOSFET. I I I, I just modified. It. It's the same thing as removing the MOSFET and replace it with another MOSFET, but I just have to modify it by using wire to jump it you know it's just like a jumper those of us who understand jumper uh, i'm going to talk about this in our next class hopefully those of us who understand jumper what i did there is just by you know taking the voltage from this place jumping it yeah since that most is is a, is a dead one just have to jump it you know Nice how it is. Okay, put in my processor fan. Mm. Just have to, you know, couple back this laptop. All you have to do is to follow the process. Our job is done. Just have to set up the system back and ha and test run it. That's all. But I'm convinced 100% that this laptop will work for good. Because before now, there is no voltage in the motherboard. No voltage circulated inside the motherboard. As you see, we both checked. The voltage travel from the charging port to this first diode and after the first diode the first MOSFET this other side not the other side I'm going to talk about this MOSFET about these two MOSFETs two MOSFETs more about it in our next class hopefully because we have to understand the job these two MOSFETs do yeah, we have to understand. Always remember to subscribe to my shiny. Like my video, drop your comment. I will be so glad to reply you. And share my video. Yeah. Now, as you can see, there is power in it now. And the processor fan is spinning. 
see initially and you can see that indicator light on the power button you can see it so our job is done yeah our job is done here yeah. all remain all is just for me to cover it up that's all yeah since we are done with our job all we have to do is just for me to test run it putting back my network cable back to the network card always remember to follow the process you just have to follow the process that's how you can be able to fix up a dead system when you follow the process you just have to follow the procedure putting my network cable into my network card that is the RAM slot and this is the cover but there there was no RAM there so I have to cover it now. I have to cover it. You know, we just have to test on power on the system to test it. Yeah. Screen. Always remember to put back all the screws that you unscrew. I have to put the back. Just follow the process. That's all you need. You know, this job is done. This job is done. And uh, I hope you guys love this modification. This means we can also modify MOSFETs. And let's test the system. Let's see whether it work. And this is our charger. Plug in the charger. Now you see. And the system is on. The power indicator light is on. And you see the power button is on. And the laptop display. So our job is done. Like, thank you. Subscribe our to our channel. See you in our next video. Thank you.